I know Chiggs is in here recording this. So. Yeah. No Chig smooth in here, right? So whatever you oh, say, so you know Chig gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say, Chig's gonna be on YouTube with it, man. How far does karma reach? That's what many celebrities now would like to know as Diddy's indictment has been revealed. People like Dame Dash and Ice Cube are so glad and relieved that they were never invited or participated in any parties that is now the subject of ridicule and jokes. But that doesn't stop 50 Cent from capitalizing on a story that gives him leverage to throw one of his longtime rivals under the bus. But why do people even want to go to those secret parties? Dame Dash on his new network, America New, gives us his thoughts on that. And Jason Lee from Hollywood Unlocked will tell us who he's seen at Diddy parties before. What's up, y'all? It's your man Talkers World Report for the Chick Smooth channel. We got to talk about this. 50 Cent being a producer and a showrunner has led to incredible shows being created, but now he also has the power to use television to attack his enemies. 50 Cent will post on Instagram, quote, 50 Cent sets Diddy abuse allegation docuseries at Netflix. Quote, it's a complex narrative spanning decades with the caption, I've been telling y'all about all this weird stuff. I don't do no puppy parties. You didn't believe me, but I bet you believe me now. And of course, 50 Cent being as relentless as he is, would also post this Diddy branded baby oil with the caption, coming soon, because being an entrepreneur is about filling the market demand. But does just being at a Diddy party mean you're guilty? What if you're a rapper or a singer or a designer, or what if you're catering the event? Are you now as guilty as anybody who might be convicted as a result of this? Dame Dash on American New explains to us why the need for secrets and how people who can keep those secrets are more likely to get better deals. The logic is simple to get. If you're friends with powerful people, when it's time to divvy out contracts or opportunities, they are more likely to think of you. That makes total sense. But does that mean you have to go to the parties? And if you do go to the parties, does that mean you have to stay past when everyone else leaves? Which then leads him to the idea of the karma buckshot. People who are close enough to someone else getting their karma might get hit because they were standing too close to the main target. Like, it's just something that was unfathomable to me. The fact that that didn't get out, that means there's a, that's a very secret club. Whoever's holding that secret, they hold it tight to the vest. And I'm like, what other secrets? Like, what deals were made in those free calls? Because a lot of the deals that happen, happen in social environments. That's why people go to the club and they hang out all day. Bankers hang out with bankers all day to get deals done. Like, I would go to Tripiani's and I'd watch, we'd make, you know, billion dollar deals over a bottle of vodka. And it was all based on, you know, that, that hanging out and that trust and you would throw your man an alley-oop because you hung out. If you get into that secret club and you're able to hold a secret so tight to the vest, you know a lot of business deals are getting made there. So now I'm like, damn, I might understand why certain people had certain opportunities, certain deals, you know, and, and if they weren't participating, they were there and they didn't leave and they repetitively came back. So I don't think people knew or maybe they were or they didn't know, but I, you know, I'll give people the benefit of doubt. Like, I don't think they thought it was illegal, but it was loose. And as far as moral compass, morally that that would not be the environment that I would want my kids around. I would want to be around. I wouldn't want to do no business in that environment. Could you imagine me going to one of those parties and walking in that room? What, what, what I'd be like, y'all know, where's the pause button? I'd be like, pause, pause, pause. I'd be like, you're in here, you're in here, y'all bugging. What? Oh, I didn't know. That type shit. They know that I'm not tolerant or, you know, I don't look the other way. I'd be getting out the way but I might not be so silent. I, I might not be able to keep that secret of what I saw, you know? So I'm like wondering like, damn. And I, I, I'm, I'm wondering if people understand what, what the buckshot of another person's karma is. Um, with, a, with, a, with a shotgun, you shoot it in pellet spray. So you might hit your target, but the, the pellets are gonna hit whoever's around. So you might not meant to be getting shot. 
but you're going to catch a couple of a, a, a spray of those bullets. That's what karma's like. So if you are around somebody that may be doing something immoral and you might look the other way or might help facilitate it, karmically, you may be considered accountable. But here, Jason Lee talks about who and what he saw at previous Diddy parties. You know, a lot of these celebrities, every single celebrity in the culture has been to Diddy's house, which means they've gone through all his phones, text messages. I can read you my text message to Diddy. What day is it airing on the show, on the network? Are you coming on the show? Diddy, what's this? It's all been business for me. It's been business for me. I don't have nothing inappropriate to them people because I don't deal with them like that. So you mean to tell me all those late nights, what you doing, where you at? I've seen Jay-Z at his house. I've seen T.D. Jakes at his house. I've seen Chris Brown at his house. I've seen Jordan Woods at his house. I've seen Travis Scott at his house. I've seen um, Beyonce at his house. I've seen, I've seen Tiana Taylor. At, I've seen them all. Now we was all in the backyard, but I've seen them all. I've seen Usher there. I've seen, everybody's been to a Diddy party. Uh, I've seen Lindsay Lohan, Ashton Kutcher, Demi Moore, Tyrese, Amber Rose. I've seen I'm all up in there. Mary J. Blige. I've seen them all. But just because you go to a Diddy party doesn't mean that you were getting sprayed down with Vaseline and baby oil. Because I can tell you right now, ain't nobody ever sprayed me with nothing. And I don't even play around like that. And even at a recent performance, Ice Cube will come out to make sure we know that he was never invited to one of those Diddy parties. Almost 40 years rocking the mic. God damn. And I'm going to tell you right now, me and Dub C ain't never been to a Diddy party, motherfucker. <laughs> Just because you know someone enough to shake their hands when you see them in public does not mean they're your friends. And even if they're your friends, it doesn't mean you're guilty of everything they're guilty of. You could be friends with street dudes and gang members. That doesn't make you a street dude or gang member, right? Let me know what you think about this situation in the comment section. Peace.